Here in my hands I have with me the iconic Chanel classic flap, one of the most distinctive, recognizable and beloved handbags out there. Now for many of us luxury handbag lovers, a lot of us will call this bag a holy grail bag. A lot of people work towards getting this as their first bag and it's a very, very popular bag for good reason. It's very, very distinctive and there's a lot of heritage in the makings of this classic flap. And it has been produced year upon year because so many people want it. It's such an exclusive and very, very in-demand item. And it's so popular that many of us out there have even got more than one classic flap. While there is so much love for this bag, there is also a lot of controversy recently, namely because of the price increases alongside the quality decreases. Now I've talked about these issues in previous videos around whether classic flaps are actually worth the money anymore. And you know, this is something that honestly is like in the eye of the beholder. But obviously I cannot deny that when bags get into the tens of thousands, when the quality goes really a lot more downhill, there's not really much left in the bag prestige and the brand heritage for me to be able and comfortable with parting with that much cash. So I wanted to put this video out there today because I wanted to share some of the alternative bags that you can get for a fraction of the money, depending on your budget, of course. There are so many options that I will talk you through from 10 luxury fashion houses that will give you the classic flat look and feel, but without the massive hefty price tag. So I've only selected one item from each fashion house. Does not mean there are not more options out there. And also just to keep this video very short really, otherwise I'll be sat here for ages talking about bags that look like a classic flap, which will be many because as you can tell, it's a very, very simple, elegant style that is very easily copied, I think. I don't think it hurts to explore other options that give you the same vibe as the classic flap, but without committing that much money, without knowing that you fully, fully love that style, especially if you're a newbie to luxury shopping. So let's start off with the lower tier options that I have for you. And I've got four fashion houses where there are options that I think are gonna be really, really good alternatives to the classic flap. So let's start off with, I'm gonna try and do them alphabetically, Aspinall of London. And it is a brand that I think is lesser known really internationally, probably more for people who live in the UK like I do, but it's honestly an underrated brand. So here we have the Lottie bag. And this is there, one of the more iconic bags to the house. So as you can see, there's loads and loads of different colors here. We've got blues, we've got creams, you know, nude colors. And you can see it's very, very similar to the classic fact. We even have options which have a black quilting in caviar with a K leather. So that's quite interesting there. Um, and loads of different other finishes, hardwares sizes as well and let's just open one of them up now let's just actually take let's take this navy quilted caviar which i guess is in the large size it's going to be very comparable to the jumbo classic flap and you can even get it personalized which i think is quite a nice detail on the front i love that honestly for 495 pounds that is a steal and sometimes they do discounts as well as the um, promotions that they already have so just wants to consider you know if you want the look but you don't want to commit Aspinall London is a really great one, good quality too. But obviously be aware, like with all of these lower tier options I'm gonna be talking about, that you know this, although it's cheaper to buy, this may have an impact on potential resale in the future, if that's something you're looking for. Uh, obviously if that's not an issue for you, if you're not gonna resell in the future, then ignore me, but just wanted to make that known in case. Now let's move on to the next option we have, and it is Kate Spade, so an option from New York. And we have the Carlisle bag here, and it seems to only be in the medium size. The Carlisle bag is available in different quilts, designs, textures as well. We've got even houndstooth over here. We've got a lot of them, they're all in gold hardware. So if you're not a gold hardware gal, that might be an issue for you. But if it's not a big deal, then obviously you've got a lot of different colors and things to play with here. You know, the look is very, very similar in terms of the CC clasp here. You've got this little buckle. Obviously this chain strap is a little bit different to the classic flap because it is full chain. It's a bit more trapeze at the base, um, almost like the cocoa handle base, but lots and lots of organization. And for a fraction of the price tag, you could add another zero and it would still be cheaper than a classic flap. Now let's move on to option number three and this one is also from a USB designer and that is Rebecca Minkoff. So you can see here this bag, the ED flat bag, 
it's available in so many different colors, hardwares, sizes, and even the different quilts. It's distinctive in its own right with the um, the fastening. I don't know what that's called. It's like when you have like school bags, right? The little press fastening. Um, but it's very, very similar to the classic Frap Silhouette. So if you want something a little bit more distinctive, a little bit more edgy, this is the bag for you. And you know, the fact that the price is at its peak are what, like 322 pounds, loads of different options here. I mean, these ones are less relevant, but you can see even different sizes of the, the crossbody version of the bag, which you could always say is like the small classic Frap style. That is 200 pounds. I mean, let's click into one of them, shall we? Very, very similar to the Chanel Classic Flap style organization, also not too dissimilar. And the ways to wear it, you know, it's very, very versatile. Now let's move on to the final option that I have from this lower tier selection, and that is from Tory Burch. And this is the Eleanor bag. It's very, very distinctive for Tory Burch. It's one of their more like classic items that they have. They release it year on year, multiple different designs and things like that. As you can see, it's very distinctive with the TT um, buckle here, basically replacing the CCs. The chains are quite different and distinctive. They are rounded spiral chains. So those are interesting um, to say the least, but you've also got ones which are leather strapped. Let's pick this um, white small bag here, 625 pounds for this beautiful bag. Let's look at more pictures. Yeah, it's quite nice, good interiors as well and looks very, very classy. So if you want something maybe a little bit more out there with the big TT buckle, then this is a good option for you. They've got tons of different hardwares and styles. You've even got ones which are like thatched as well, which is quite nice and it won't break the bank either. All right, so now let's move on to the higher tier options that I have for you for the classic flap. And these ones, I guess, will be almost double the price of some of them, maybe even more than that, but certainly beyond the three or four grand mark. So still a big two, three, four thousand pounds saving, depending on the size of classic flap that you were going to get. But the resale might be a little bit better. The brands may be a little bit more higher tier or prestigious. And you know, these options are maybe for people who do like the look or maybe even have a classic flap or two in their collections, but don't want any more. So let's get started with a brand that you're probably shocked that I will be putting into this selection. And that's because it's from Chanel itself. And that is because I'm gonna be talking about the Chanel Mini. And the Mini is a bag that I have myself and I love a lot. And it's a bag that people talk a lot about when comparing, for example, the small classic flap because they almost fit the same amount. If not, this one may fit more because it doesn't have the double flap on the inside. It's just a single flap bag. Now this mini flat bag that I have here is a cutie that I bought, oh my goodness, maybe three or four years ago at this stage. I bought it at the time for 1,900 pounds, which now that mini flat bags are what? Let me just have a look, 3,360. That is just astounding to me that it could basically double in the space of four or five years. So definitely one to consider because it has the classic flat look, as you can see from the small flat bag, very similar, not much in it in terms of size. Obviously this one can't go uh, over the shoulder, but there are workarounds that you can do by, you know, taking, you could probably loop on your own handle here. I know a lot of places will off a handle, Samorga for example being one of them. You can use my code Melancello for some dollar off there, shame yourself promo. But you know, you can also uh, have workarounds like making this chain uh, loop over itself, so, but you can make a figure eight. You can therefore loop it round and you'll have a double strapped shoulder bag. So, you know, there's workarounds for the mini, but you do obviously have that look because it's also from the fashion house itself. Now, if I go back to my phone and take a look at the mini flap, you obviously have uh, a very, very low price tag in comparison to the classic flap. So, you know, the small one, I think that this one went for almost 7,000 pounds Then the mini. So this one being 3,360, obviously that might vary depending on if you get something in a, you know, different fabric like tweed, um, or other material here, you know, that might go up in price or even down, to be honest. So many different designs also that you can see here and so many that are in store that you won't even see online. So it's definitely worth having a look if you really don't want to part with that Chanel look, but really cannot bring yourself to pay for it fully. 
And something also worth mentioning is that you don't just necessarily have to go for the mini flat bag in rectangular, there's also the square versions, there's also tons of other more seasonal mini flat bag styles and also obviously you could go the vintage route but I think just for the sake of this video you know the rectangle bag is the most similar looking to the classic flaps. Now let's move swiftly on to Dior of which you know, Dior is a brand that I don't really, I don't think it resells particularly well. I don't think it really stands the test of time. They've released so many seasonal bags and even ones that they say are their, you know, iconic fixtures to the house. They just come and go so quickly. I mean, even the saddle bag is coming and going so quickly amongst the other ones that their social media stars and celebrities are pushing so heavily. But if you really do like the fashion house, the Dior Caro bag is very, very similar looking to the classic flap. Almost also has a boy bag vibe to it because it's quite boxy, but it is a good option if you do want something from a more prestigious brand, shall we say. Now let's have a look at all these selections. You know, you can see a different variety of sizes. You've got micro sizes, small, medium, and large, I assume as well. They're all in there, uh, canage print, which is distinctive to the house. There are different sizes, so you've got a good variation here. Classic CD logo, which they change a lot as a side note, but hopefully this one will stay. And um, you know, you've got a lot of selection of colors so you can see very very similar interiors nothing crazy to write home about the chain obviously is a little bit different you've got a bit of leather here so a little bit more similar to the boy bag here but you know if you want something that is a little bit different you want the you like the dior canage print then this is a good option for you and for like two three grand top end pretty good in my opinion i also hear dior service is really good and they treat their customers really nice now let's move on to Fendi, which I think a lot of people will probably be able to gather which one I've gone for, and that is the iconic Fendi baguette bag. Now, the baguette has had a resurgence in the recent past, but there are so many to choose from, and I'm really glad to see it, actually, because it's a bag that I think is super underrated, and it's really nice, and I've considered a baguette in the past. And this one, you can see you've got different handles. You've got the leather handle here, which is very proud of re-edition again. Um, so it may not be super, super similar to the classic flap, but then you've got ones with a top handle, a chain. Budget on this one, I mean, you could, top end, you were probably looking at 3,000 pounds, bottom end, you might be looking in the 900 or 1,000 pounds, but you can see there's so many more designs, colors and things and materials that you can go for here. You'd definitely be a lot more fun with the Fendi baguette than you can with the other selections. I mean, you've even got one that's a tiger print here, right? You can get good vintage options as well, which will be a lot cheaper in the fabric, but in the leather, I think, yeah, it's pretty good for the money. Now we're on to option number eight, and that is from Gucci. And I was resistant at first to put Gucci in here because I have certain opinions of Gucci bags. So they are almost even more trendy than the Dior ones. I mean, who didn't buy a Marmont bag slash belt? in the year, what, 2018, 2019? Because I certainly did. And look, I love my Marmot belt. I will not get rid of it. But just as quickly as it came in, did I see it also leave as well. Having said that though, that is not to say that they are not still around. I do see the odd Marmot bag and belt floating around because Gucci still keeps producing the Marmont. So it makes sense for me to recommend the GG Marmont bag. And so many different options here in terms of sizes, hardwares, colours, all that good stuff. We even got different kinds of uh, quilting as well. You've got like the straight one, you've got these diagonal ones. Oh my god, so many things going on. Um, but you know, good price points as well. Very, very good price points. Sometimes you could even get Gucci bags on a discount. I know some people have experienced that on like Louis Vuitton in the past, if you're lucky. Very, very similar to the classic flap in the multiple ways to wear in terms of strap, the GG. Uh, clasp here, very similar of course to what the placement of the CCs and it fits a lot, I've heard it's really nice and squidgy and yeah it looks nice and if you don't care too much about it going in and out of style, I mean obviously they still make it, I still see sometimes this bang around then go for it. Now let's move on to option number nine and that is Louis Vuitton and there are so many bag options that I saw that are so similar to the classic flap but for the sake of this video I will just limit it to the new wave because I could be sat here talking about, you know, the, the LV Twist um, or the Lockby bag. Those are very similar, but I thought the new wave chain bag was the most 
similar and you can see why in this picture very very similar in the placement of grommets and in terms of the internal organization ways to wear and you know it comes in a variety of different colors which is quite nice though the hardwares are all gold so that's just one to think about if you are not a gold hardware girl then you know it might not be for you but like i said there's so many other options in lv's lines that have different hardwares and things that are similar to the classic fab so definitely worth a look and honestly lv for some reason it seems more prestigious of a fashion brand but way less in terms of the cost this one is £2,060. They also have other bags which are like canvas for way less. So definitely a great option. And now onto the final option, number 10. And I actually have my own example here to show you because I do have this bag myself. And that is the Saint Laurent Lulu bag. Now I know this bag has gone through a few price increases recently, but I think that only attests to its popularity and how permanent a fixture it is. It comes in so many sizes. This one I have is in the small size, but even for a small bag, I mean, this is my small classic flap. It is tons bigger. I mean, you get so much bag for your money here. This is almost like the medium bag, which I will just hold up here to show you. I mean, even this one, probably more comparable to a jumbo at this stage, but there are so many other sizes that this bag comes in. The storage is amazing. I've got so much tatter in it and I just leave it in here because it's my almost like everyday bag, carefree, fuss free, no scuffs or anything like that. And I've had this one for way longer than these bags. And yet these bags have produced some scuffs, which I'm very miffed about. But this is for obviously a fraction of the price. This is their website. There are so many color options and size options here that there is definitely something for everybody. And that is just on their website alone. They obviously have more selections in store. I think they even also, as a side note, may feature in like outlet villages. This bag is pretty classic. It rarely goes on discount now anyways. If you do find it, it may be a stroke of luck, but in my experience with this one, I mean, I was lucky enough to buy this for, I think, just under a thousand pounds or if not just a thousand pounds but that is for the small size you can get the toy size which is a very very popular size of this bag and you can wear it cross body predominantly or as a clutch but certainly for a bag that you can wear double strap the small is still a good price point so with that all being said those are my 10 options for you for classic flap alternatives i know i've not been super exhaustive there are other brands out there like the versace's like the valentinos you could even argue that if you could go straight up to the hermes if you want to justify the price for the quality but let me know if you've got any other burning suggestions down in the comments and if you will be adding any of the bags that i've mentioned into your collection if not already have them anyways i'm just gonna leave it here thank you for watching and i'll catch you in my next one